Hello everyone, welcome to the Metal Crafter, I'm Paolo and today we have the last video part of the Swallowtail Festival Games with the Devil Hunt. We're going to make a custom mini for the Sandpoint Devil which is a monster that roams the Sandpoint hinterlands. You can use this mini as a game for the festival as well as the Devil itself if you want your players to encounter this monster on your campaign. Let's go through the game's description and then hit the table. Do you have what it takes to bring down the infamous Sunpoint Devil and keep him from menacing the surrounding area? Take a shot and see! This is an archery range set up on the beach down by the lighthouse. A large target with silhouette of a scary looking winged horse on it is set up 50 yards away from a firing lane. The bullseye is about where a horse heart will be. There are bigger concentric circles around the bullseye. So, the Sunpoint Devil description reads an unnatural amalgam of loathsome animal parts. This mangy beast skulks forward, walking perversively upright on the rear legs of a powerful horse. Its body and head grossly equine, the torn wings of some giant bat spruce from the thing's oxpotted hide. Closed, milky eyes glare balefully from a nearly skeletal head as a rasping hiss escapes a muscle filled with broken yellow wolf teeth. Quite a description. For the main parts of this mini I'm going to use the wings of this rubber Halloween bat and I'm going to select a horse from my horse's bag. I've been saving these horses to customize them and be able to place a mini on them. Might do a video about it in the future. For the time being, I think this one standing on its two back legs has a pretty good pose for the devil. I'm going to start by chopping the horse's tail and also cut the bat's wings. With an exacto knife, I cut open the mouth of the horse and widen the space. Then proceed to super glue the wings to the sides of the body. Also clean up the wings a bit as the rubber had a pretty low quality.
Next, I pierce the horse's back where the tail used to be. I'm going to recreate the new lizard-like tail. I put a little bit of super glue in the hole and then stick a small piece of wire that will hold the tail. Once dried, I shape the wire in the desired position. Going to use some cold porcelain for sculpting the tail and start adding it around the wire. You can use other sculpting material like chupar epoxy or similar ones. I add a little bit of the porcelain into the mouth's hole and though very roughly, we make some teeth-like sculpting in it. I'm here chopping off some brown mark in the rubber. Next, I'm going to use some hot glue for making fire coming out from the mouth. I put a little drop and then use a toothpick to pinch the hot glue and then pull it a bit to create the flames. I do so on both sides. I use the same technique to make some wild hair over the head. With this, the craft is done and we can go on painting. I first prime the whole thing and do a main base with a light brown. Then I use some three different shades of pink slash light purple on the low part of the legs, snout and tail. Paint the hoofs and hair with black and also dry brush the body a bit with black. We're going to leave out the bullseye from the mini 
as you may want to reuse it as the Sandpoint Devil itself. Paint the wings with purple. Then I move to the fire and give it a yellow base. Then add some orange and red to the flames. While at it, I also paint the eyes yellow. To finish our mini, I give it a black wash and we can see the results. Now we have a mini for the Sunpoint Devil, which you can reuse during your campaign if you want your players to fight this monster. In the following videos of this series, we'll move along the Rise of the Rulers adventure path with new crafts so you can add some color to your sessions. As always, if you liked the video, hit the like button, leave your comments below, and subscribe to the channel not to miss any videos. See you on the next craft.